my charity boxes. This is my review for Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 12, Episode 19, Ru Ruined Peaches. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I'm late. It's just a lot going on, and y'all know what's going on. This Rona got everybody just all off schedule and everything like that. So I'm just going to say well, thank you for watching my videos. Continue to support, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to share. I appreciate all, you know, the support that I've been getting, with, you know, on my videos. So, we just going to get right into it. It started off where we left off, where the girls are just going at it. Nene was threatening to um, spit on Kenya. And, like, I'm with Candy with this one. Kenya, Candy. Candy was like, oh, somebody be getting fucked up with that. And I want her. I, I am a lady. <laughs> In case y'all don't know, because I know I curse a lot on this thing. I am a lady. Okay. But that's one I I would have showed my I would have showed my black behind then. I'm sorry. I would have showed it. Because you're not gonna spit on me and think that you're gonna be walking around and, and unscathed. That's just not gonna happen. I would have mopped the floor with Nene. I just would have. And Nene, you too old to be pulling that fucking shit. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to argue with her and all this old stuff, that's one thing. But threatening to spit on somebody, that's a nasty act. That's that's worse than somebody punching you in the goddamn face, okay? So, you know, Portia was trying to mediate and she was trying to get to the bottom of it and asking, um, telling um, Kenya that her and Nene just went through the same thing. Nene said a lot of, you know, foul things about her but in the interim of that Kenya was like well she didn't call your baby a buffalo so can you I mean so um Portia was like well you right I can't really you know defend her on that Nene claimed that she didn't say it but when they did flashbacks they is she clearly said was she gonna give birth to a bu buffalo or whatever like that I mean she was saying it in the context of because she was so big but so you mix, you mix your words. You did say it. Now, I don't think I really would have cared so much about it because I, I probably would have seen through what she was trying to say and I would have checked her just for talking shit, period. But it's not like she verbally was trying to attack Brooklyn. You know, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you, you can't say things out there and then expect people to receive it how you may have thought it, it it landed because once you put stuff out people can receive it whichever way they want to receive it and that's just how that's just how it is you understand what i'm saying like you gotta be careful the energy you put out because you can't control how people respond to it and that's 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 just real tick so Portia was like, you know, you're you're just not in the space right now to want to receive it and i understand it and, and it's fine and then he was and, and then he, she was like yeah if she, you know, in the in, in the future, if she want to receive it, she'll it, it'll it'll be an opportunity. But like, so Candy got up and she basically was saying how, you know, Nene Nene has you know even this Brooklyn situation. Like Nene has already apologized. Either you want to accept it or you not. We can't, you know, we can't keep messing with the same situation. So, uh, um, Kenya agreed to leave it where it was at, far as that, but. Trust and believe that little sarcasm and that little smirk and all that stuff from Kenya. Kenya was, she said she had never talk about it again. That was some bull crap because she might never talk about it again, but she's not over it. And she has not forgiven her regardless of what she said. And, you know, um, Cynthia was saying like in her confession, was like, far as when Nene was trying to like spit on her and stuff like that. She was like, that. she said, that's even low for Nene. She said, that's down some, uh, no, Kenya was like, that was down to some gutter type stuff. Now, this is what I'm going to say about you, Kenya. You keep saying like everybody down in the gutter, everybody, you know, attacking you, everybody throwing these uh, uh, um, verbal assaults that's unforgivable. You must not um did any review about your playbacks on this show either. Because you was coming at people left and right. You was attacking people, you know, husbands. You was attacking people, you know, you know, businesses. You just, last episode, was attacking your friend businesses. Like, you have done a lot of damage on this fucking show. And it's just your karma. It, 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 it's just your turn to get it, okay? Now, you might got... 
a, a sad story when it comes to your mom not wanting you, whatever like that. But don't say, can't nobody use that to fuck against you. Because my thing is, like you said to Nene, you know, you threw... She said, um, you, 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 you started with me and I shot back with a, um, a Uzi or some shit she said to that effect. Well, that's the thing. You cannot throw what you want to throw at people and then think they're going to meet you with the same aggression. No, people going to hit you where it hurt. Because Marlo then said that she wanted to, an apology from Kenya in reference to when Kenya, um, interrupted her event and, and had the drill team there talking about Kenya more hair care, Kenya more hair care, and all this other stuff. So Kenya was like, I know you don't think you're gonna get no um apologies from me after you talked about my mother and all this old crap. She will say one thing you don't do is talk about um these three things is off limits. My my um mother, my um child and my husband, bitch. The fuck you lied? You lied because those things aren't um, um off limits. I'll say the kid. I'll leave baby Brooklyn out of it. But when it comes to your your mother and when it comes to your husband, no, the fuck is not. It depends on how you coming at me. Because I'm going to come for your throat, okay? Because you you just said out your mouth and you 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 come at me, I'm going to hit you harder and I'm going to um, come at you with a goddamn going machine gun so you think I'm not going to use what's in my artillery? You got to be crazy. You got to be, you're not listening to what the hell you saying. Because if you were, you wouldn't even be coming at people like that. So, you, 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 you lost me with that, Kenya. You fucking lost me with that shit. The fuck you lied, okay? The fuck you lied, okay? And, truth be told, Nene ain't really want to do nothing either. Because if Nene really wanted to spit on her, she could have. She could have. See, that was all, that was all drawn out. That was all just some good TV because if they really was about that business and really wanted to do what they claim they would do, it would already been done. Cause, Cause Kenya said, I dare you. Kenya said, I dare you. Nene ain't did shit, but talk shit. That's it. That's all she did. You know what I mean? And like I, Kenya, I mean, Portia was trying to be a mediator and stuff like that. And Portia, you know, kept on talking to Kenya and trying to like reiterate what Nini, you know, Nini was trying to do and everything like that. And Kenya wasn't here to receive it. She was like, she, she said something like, um, something smart. And Ken, um, Portia was like, that's being passive aggressive or whatever, which it was. But this is what I want to say about you, Portia. That because you and Nini made up last weekend, I mean, last episode, that don't mean everybody else is in the space. And you did make mention today. You was like, you're not in the space to receive it. You did. But it took you a minute to get there. My thing is that because you was ready to forgive her. That don't mean Kenya is, okay? And my thing is, I can accept your apology. That don't mean me and you ever got to be friends no more. Because sometimes that because I people accept your apology just to, for, for, for their own, you know, psyche. But that don't mean they still want you in their, in their life, in their space, in their circle. That's two different things. And they may not never be friends. And I don't feel as though y'all right to force that on anyone. So... Yeah, Marlo, you know, like I said, Marlo wanted the the apology and Kenya wasn't here for it. And like I said, nah, you can't force people to be receptive to what you're saying. But Marlo did say, like, because when Kenya was over at that particular point, she ain't want nothing else to do with it. She stormed off. And Kenya, I mean, Candy ran off, you know, to where Marlo was at. So... As they were doing that, Marlo was talking to Nene and everything, like Nene and all, and all the other girls. And she was like, and for what is worth, what what is worth, what I said about her mind was horrible. And I, and I apologize for that. She, you know, she regret doing it because, you know, it was a foul thing to say. But like I said, can you do a lot of shit? And if that's what Marlo had to do to put her in her fucking place, then... Oh, well, you can't smack me and then get mad if I hit you with a chair. You can't tell me how to react. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So now, like, like I said, Kenya, I mean, Candy was running behind Kenya. And she was like, what you want to be um, known as a, a lever? Some shit she said, like, to that effect. She was like, 
Um, why couldn't you just sit there and listen to it? She was like, you sat there when, you know, Nene was talking and you was able, you know, to get your point across. Why couldn't you do with that, the, you know, with Marlo? Like, we're not going to get nowhere if you keep running. So, she was, like, twisting her arms and shit. Like, I just want to go. I am just want to go listen to the other. So, that was a whole goddamn mess that night. A whole goddamn mess that night. Yeah, child. That was a whole goddamn mess with them. Kenya still, you know, upset to my she don't have time for this shit. She got a lot going on. You and everybody else. Maybe that wasn't the place to go once your minion just filed for, you know, separation from you, you know, and you went on jet setting, you know, with these group of girls that you already know you got issues with. Maybe that wasn't the place because you couldn't expect for them to show you sympathy in your time of, you know, despair. When the fuck, you never showed nobody, you know, sympathy when they was going through whatever they were going through. You know what I'm saying? And, like, Cynthia and Nene, I mean, and Candy said, because now we we go on to the next the next day. They're all, they haven't, it's the, it's the next day, but it's Kenya, ne, I mean, Kenya, Cynthia, and Candy, they having a separate conversation apart from Tanya, Portia, and Nene. Nene come twirling her ass to, you know, where the pool is. Like, ain't shit happen, okay? I don't know if she was putting on airs or that's the fuck how she really felt. But, honey girl, she you you wouldn't even be able to tell that she had just had a run-in with somebody. Because her energy was up, child. Her energy was up. So, like I said, Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia were talking. And she based, they, you know, were talking about the things at the event and Cynthia said like I felt like me and you was the only ones that were able to you know hash out what we had going on but like I said it's two separate conversations going on and Portia made mention she was like um Cynthia didn't hold her to the fire you know what I'm saying she was like she didn't really she really didn't let her know what the real issue was and she didn't they they do let um um Kenya I'm sorry these I y'all know these K's get on my damn nerves so best bear with me they do um let Kenya get away with a lot of fucking shit and Tanya said Kenya is a goddamn hypocrite because if your thing is oh you don't um want nobody attacking your business then you shouldn't be going after nobody else business that's what you know Portia said that as well and Portia said she because she better not come at the gold naked hair and guess what if she do, I already know you're going to hold your fucking own when it comes to that because you ain't going to tarnish what I got going on. That's my money outside of this housewife shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, Candy, Candy was basically telling her, like, you're going to have to... She was like, I, they said that they felt like the that first night, the, the apology was genuine from Nene. And Ken, uh, Kenya was saying no, it wasn't. She was like, she didn't... If she wanted... To apologize, I mean, or she wanted to talk and she wanted to hash stuff out. She could have called me. Why would she call you? Y'all not fucking friends. Like, I'm confused. Were y'all cool prior to your man leaving you or not? You just did an invite and, and invited everybody to admit and left her purposely out. So why the fuck would she reach out to you? She trying to, she was trying to clear the air then. And she might genuinely felt, you know, sorry for you. But I'm not going to pick up the phone and fucking call you, bitch. I ain't been calling you. Like, I mean, I'm probably only saying it because you're in my face. And I had the opportunity to say it. Like, I ain't going out my way to say it. Like, bitch, bye. You know, Kenya got some entitlement with her. She want motherfuckers to do what she will not do for them. And I, you know, and I ain't saying always be tip for tap for a motherfucker. But she, she got it fucked. She got the game fucked up. Kenya got the game fucked up. She do. I'm just saying. She do. You, she, I don't know what's up with her. You know what I mean? So... Um, like I said, Tanya said that she was a hypocrite and she is, she is a fucking hypocrite. They didn't get anything resolved. It was a fucking shit show. And like Candy and I mean, um, Nene and them keep on saying they let Kenya get away with murder. And like I said, they do let her get away with murder. They don't hold her to a, to the fire. Now I kind of think Candy was trying to, you know, make um Kenya accountable for some things but she ain't pressed too too hard like she was telling her she was like listen being in this group you gonna have to you know get over shit she was like 
it's people that went through worse stuff in the group, you know, than you. And and they over. She was like, no. She was like, I never had a child. I never had a husband. And she used those things against me. And Candy was like, um, I beg to differ, sweetie, because no one never accused you of rape. A rape. I think I, you know, I think Candy topped you on that. And she was like, and I'm still able to, you know, be cordial and um, friendly with Portia. So you should be able to do that too. And Kenya ain't had shit to say after that, but it's true. Like, come on. We in this group, y'all, we all signed on to be on this um, TV show. We already know what it's sitting for. Like, cut the crap. I ain't got to like you. You ain't got to like me, but we can coexist. That's That's bottom line. We can coexist. So they decided, Candy said she going to take, the um control of the trip again because that shit went haywire thanks to Portia and um Tanya and they said they had good intentions but I don't understand why y'all don't understand I don't understand how y'all don't know that some shit should be left alone like they saying they ain't realize how much of um animosity it was between Kenya and um Nene well I don't know how y'all didn't because I'm looking at it and I seen that shit I don't know how y'all ain't know ciao ciao Anything for a TV show. Anything to get ratings for a show. I mean, I get it. I get it. But stop acting like you don't know what time it is. Stop acting like you don't know. Anyway, Candy said the only time that they seem to be getting uh, um, alone is when they in the competitive spirit. So, Dina Lohan, that's Lindsay Lohan's mother, Candy got, you know, friendly with her when they were on the Big Brother. So, Lindsay has a like a bar, beach bar there. She had a little show about that too. She got a leak, so she got um a little beach bar there in Mokinos, or whatever how you pronounce it, because I might not even pronounce it right. But she does have one. So she um Candy had it all planned out for them that that's where they were going to go and they were going to do some kind of like um like friendly competition um type um things. Uh, friendship bonding skill type um uh, like events or whatever so this should be fun this should be fun okay so we at the resort where that Lindsay owns that all the girls are wondering what they had you know what candy and them had planned so she revealed to them that she had you know this team building exercise that she wanted to do, uh, wanted them to do now, I can't go step by step with the instructions. So basically, the first, the first, she, she picked, she picked teams. The first team was, well, she, she paired, um, uh, um, uh, the, the girls together. So Nene was paired with Portia. Tanya was paired with Kenya. And Cynthia was paired with Marlo. And Cynthia was like, well, I, she was a little hesitant about being paired with Marlo because she was saying, I guess, I guess they had an issue in Toronto, but they did the flashback. I don't remember her calling her Bob Marley or some shit like that. I'm like, oh, okay. I know what's something near. So anyway, you know, the girls wasn't resistant to, you know, the, the team building exercises or whatever like that. So the first one was basically in a nutshell, one person had to have on the blindfold and they have to listen to direction from their partner and the partner basically going to guide them through like the little um, obstacle course that they had for them. When I tell you Marlo fucking suck, okay, she was stiff as a fucking board looking like oompa fucking loompa and not body wise, just like the way she just had her body, just, uh, like the way she had her body positioned, you know. I'm like, oh my God, because she looked great, but it's just like, what the fuck is you doing, Marlo? Like, really? It almost like, run, Forrest, run type shit. Like, what the hell? Anyway, they uh, Cynthia was talking about Marlo. She was like, she can't take no daggone direction. I almost got to, you know, dangle a Birkin bag or something in front of her face. But get, truth be told, Cynthia sucked just as much as Marlo. And Marlo fucked with her because she was like, sit down. Because, you know, with the blindfold, one of the things they had to sit. But if you was in the right spot, you should have been landing on a chair. But Marlo was fucking with her. She had Cynthia sit. Cynthia uh, fell right on the goddamn stand. I was cracking up. She was like, you did that on purpose. But it was all fun and jokes. Anyway, so Tanya um, and Kenya... They won. Um, they got a point. 
So did Nene and Portia got a point because they, you know, they all, you know, succeeded in that. Marlo and um, Cynthia, y'all already know they ain't get shit because they, they, a high ass mess. A high ass. <laughs> so now they go to the second exercise where they're like tied to one another, but like they're back on each other back. So they're not facing each other. And one actually has to got the other one so my when i tell y'all portia she was dragging nene ass and cynthia said oh i didn't realize portia was that strong because she dragging nene and that's not an um easy load she was like emotionally and physically i was like the shade but the accuracy of it all because now she done portia did wear out the gas because her ass wasn't able to make it back up but she dropped her goddamn knees when she got down to that water. But she was dragging the shit out of Nene goddamn ass. And, um, um, uh, hold up. I think it was Marlo and Cynthia. They ended up giving up. Tanya and them, um, they kept it going. But no tea, no shade, and none of that. I just could not take my eye off of, um, Kenya. Because when her and T Tanya was on each other, you can kind of, just i don't know i i don't know i just zoomed in on her on her lower head and something just looked strange to me it just looked strange now i know she has denied over and over that she didn't get no but her butt done but yes she did and it looks horrible you have no hips and then you got this big diaper butt she has i'm not gonna say she has the worst ass job but she has one of the worst ass jobs that I have seen. It looks horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. So, the girls is done with that. So, they back at the hotel now getting ready. They having like a Grecian goddess night. So, they all want to dress up and they, you know, best Grecian outfits. And I think some of them actually bought some outfits when they were over there in Greece. Like, so they're going to um, get dressed. So Candy and Cynthia is talking. And when I tell you Cynthia is one bad mamma jamma when she get herself together, okay? Now, she look good without makeup and stuff like that. But when she, you know, put her little extra finish, finishing touches on stuff, she get them heifers to run for their goddamn money. She really, really do. She really embodied that grecian look she looked phenomenal in my eyes she really did they all the girls look nice i'm not gonna sit up there and say they didn't all the girls look nice even when they were at the, um at the beach they had nice little you know beach wear everybody looked nice at you know the grecian god is nice everybody but what i will say nene was her makeup finished because it didn't look blended all the way or is that was how it's supposed to be did they go hard on the aisle um the highlighter or something i wasn't really feeling her, her, her makeup or whatever but other than that you know and aside from portia i mean and aside from kenya's horrific booty i think everybody cohesively looked nice so like i said ken, ken um candy and cynthia was talking about you know what they had planned for the grecian goddess night so they basically wanted to do like a reenactment or like a role reverse type thing where Cynthia be Nene and Kenya would, I mean, and Candy would be, oh gosh, I'm, I'm getting tongue tied. She would be um, Kenya. So like she said, like it'll be practice for her role on a shot because she keep um, plugging that she got a role on a shot. And I mean, I probably would be plugging my shit too. So, anyway, they were saying how they want Cynthia to get out, you know, a lot of the points that Nene was trying to get out because she don't want Nene to think that they not, they take, you know, more on Kenya's side because that has been the running theme here. They saying that they stick up for Kenya. They don't like to call her out on her bull crap. So, she kind of wanted to be even. Cynthia's kind of apprehensive about it or whatever because she like it could be this could be a shit show you know what i mean but she agreed they're gonna go ahead with doing it so uh um candy was like yeah because you uh 
a thespian too. So they played back what she did, like that little commercial for Kenya Moore hair. <laughs> and that wasn't a hot freaking mess. I don't know which one is. And Kenya, I mean, and Kenya always like this, make it seem like she do these good production type you know, commercials and stuff like that. That shit was a horrible mess. I know, I ain't never see that go to um, print, okay? That was a horrible goddamn mess. So, candy is down. You know, they got a whole spread. I mean, it's wrapped in aluminum foil because the damn cats is out there. Like Portia said, they, they got more pussy there than a the brothel. Like, come on. Like, I mean... It never was cute, but you know, in the beginning, when you happy, you somewhere, you can deal with some shit. Like you last night, that shit is annoying. Like, it, 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 go somewhere, kitty. Go somewhere, fucking kitty. Anyway, so everyone is there. They getting their drinks. They getting food. Everybody looks phenomenal. Like I already said, everybody looks great. So they were asking, like, well, you know, what's going on? So. Candy and Cynthia, they got up and they basically, well, mind you, they all had to pick Grecian goddesses' names. And I ain't about to run all those down to you because I don't remember who picked what. I do remember Kenya picked, I forgot what she picked, but I forgot the name. But one of the things she was for was war. And that was a perfect representation of Kenya. Kenya didn't know that at the time because she represents something else too. But she also represents war. And you with the drama, Kenya. You with the drama. Then I forgot which one, the name of the one that Nene picked. But it, it represented, represented health and everything like that. So she was being a little shady because she was like, Cause with, um, without, um, you know, health, you wouldn't be able to have anything that you got, you girls pick far as because... Can you pick one about, you know, wealth and prosperity type thing? Um, uh, uh, Marlo, I forgot which one Marlo picked. So they were picking different ones. And I know um, one was about marriage and Cynthia got that. She was like, I ain't um, thirsty now showing her ring. I'm about to get married. Bitch, you still thirsty. I don't give a fuck if you put a ring on or not. You're still thirsty. Anyway, so... They were talking about how that part of like Greek history and the Greek uh, back in the day, like how they used to do reenactments and Greek theater and stuff like that. So they said that they wanted to do a Greek tragedy. So everybody else was looking. I think everybody else was okay. But if you read nene face she wasn't with it from the fucking jump because she probably already knew it was going to be some bullshit behind it so she kind of was on angles from the rip you know what i'm saying so they were explaining how since nene and kenya you know can't communicate and kenya was like listen let me stop y'all right now i'm able to communicate she the one that not not you know not willing to communicate so in her confessional she was like you know, her little lap dogs, her little minions talk about Kenya. I mean, talking about Candy and Cynthia. That's the thing. I can imagine what's going to go on in this reunion because the running theme of this season has been poor. I mean, Cynthia and Candy is a goddamn lap dog, or they just let, you know, Kenya, you know, run, you know, do whatever she wants and don't check her. It's going to be interesting about this reunion. It it really is. Anyway, so they were, you know, saying how they, um, they're they going to do the best of portraying them. And Kenya was all on board for it. She was like, I'm going to record y'all. And uh, Cynthia was like, this is going to be a dramatization. And I'm going to, you know, do my best to, you know, do it in a you know, good light. Nene was not having it. She was like, I'm going to the bathroom. That bitch, Nene gave attitude. She was then she started arguing with production because they were trying to block her. They was like, Well, are you going to bear from or are you going? She was like, We're not about to do this, we're not about to do this. Y'all not about to do this. Like, they asked Marlo, Well, why she mad? Marlo was like, Well, she mad. She just said she had to go to bear from. I'm like, Oh my god, it is too much going on, too much going on. So, the shit never went down, okay? The shit never went down. 
Nene wasn't having it. She stormed off. I guess she just didn't want to repeat because Portia and already and was like, they don't know if that was a good, you know, this was a good idea. And I don't think it was a good idea. I mean, I know you got to do stuff for the sake of the show. But if you already had a blowout the night before, then y'all was kind of what? on a civilized foot and you should have just let that be that from you know the team building um exercise then you you know you keep you know picking at an old wound that should have been done there i i know or if y'all wanted to do like a reenactment or do something do some shakespearean shakespeare bullshit like you ain't had to use real life subjects you know what i'm saying like i i, I don't really even though I probably would have uh, got annoyed if someone else did that, I really don't feel like Nene was being out of line by, you know, choosing her piece. Because I don't have that because that's what y'all want to do. I don't have to entertain that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even want to bring that energy back to how I was feeling yesterday. Like, you know, give me a minute. Like, give me a fucking minute. So that's all I got for this show. I probably missed some stuff because, like I said, I'm all over the place. So if you guys like the content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to holler at your girl.